commit to what you're making and we were making this and it was incredible and it was you know impossible to say no to at the end of the day so um, as scary as it is it's worth it it's great hi what's your question hi um Andrew Garfield you should have won best supporting role for sure <laughs> You are simply amazing, amazing spider. <laughs> anyway. Um, Thanks, thank you so much. That means so much, thank you. My question is for Mark Webb. Uh, did you on purpose make this film darker than the original ones from uh, Sam Raimi? No, I, darker is one of those sort of loaded terms, but uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's, I, I tried to, in terms of style, I, I wanted the universe to be, uh, uh, Sort of grounded. I wanted when you walk out of the theater. I wanted to recognize the world that you see on screen in some way, in the in the world that um, we all experience and see every day. And that goes for like just physically, emotionally, aesthetically, um, uh, and that sort of thing. I mean, there is there's a, a great and an emotional reality, but there's also a great humor and levity that we all love and, and embrace in Spider-Man. That I think is 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 part of why he's so relatable. And that was. Thing to, to, to count on too. So I, I mean, I don't use that term darker, but I, I it, it's it's very emotionally complex, and there's a lot of richness, and there's a lot of different colors of emotion that we're trying to uh, create in a in a in a real and authentic way. I thought the the high school moment with with Gwen and Peter was much lighter and much more playful, and felt more like high school than anything I had seen in the Spider-Man book before. It was kind of great to, to see that side of the, yeah. those characters. What was, what was great with working with uh, Andrew and Emma, they're both incredibly spontaneous actors. And they go into something, they don't ever fake anything. They just go and it feels real and that nervous quality is, is really magical. I remember we were sitting behind uh, uh, the monitor that day and it was just like you knew that something was working. You know what I mean? And it felt really authentic and, and again, part of the DNA of Spider-Man to me is this sort of teenager quality. It's something that Andrew really talked about and Gwen really, uh, that Emma. Uh, Emma really talked about a lot and embracing, and, and that I thought was a, a really fun component to play. Reese, how do you go about bringing the humanity to the monster in a role like that when you're Kirk Connors and the Lizard? Just do it. Am I on there? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, you never bring humanity to a monster. Monsters bring us humanity, yeah? Um, <laughs> I think I answered the question, yeah? Yes, you did, yeah. Given, given the response. Absolutely, I didn't do it. What's your question? Uh, hi, I'm Caroline. My question's for Andrew and Emma. I love you guys. And I was wondering if you felt you shared any personality traits or quirks with your characters. We both just ate Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> Literally just now, not at all. <laughs> hmm? Okay. What was your question? <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, yeah. We, I, 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 I'm, I'm, yes, yes. I've always felt, you know, I kind of said earlier, like I've, Peter Parker's always been the one fictional character, other, you know, along with everyone else, with, with um, you know, Holden Caulfield that I, that I've, um, <laughs> that I've related to as a, as a, as a, as a, as a kid growing up, and I wore my first Spider-Man suit when I was two, um, at my first Halloween, and, uh, and yeah, so I've, well, I've I, across the board at every. Um, generation of comics in every generation. I, I, it's always been something that's I've, I've always felt close to, personally. Hi, what's your question? Uh, my question is to Andrew. First off, I'm a huge fan, and you're going to be an excellent Spidey. Oh, thanks. Um, I was wondering if you did any communicating <coughs> with Tobey Maguire during filming to get advice or tips or anything? Every night, every night. He was like a hotline. He was like, uh, he was like a suicide hotline. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he didn't offer much. Uh, he was very honest with me. He was like, yeah, no, you're going through it. It was pretty rough, right? <laughs> And it, like, you know, sometimes some, like, tough love is the best kind of love, it, it, so he thinks, and it made me think it as well. Um, no, I didn't speak to him during shooting, I, sh I spoke to him after, and, uh, but I did get an amazing message sent through Matt Tomac on the 
the, the day that it was announced, I would be taking on the mantle of this of this this symbol that is greater than him or me. Um, and he sent he kind of gave me my his blessing, which um, he didn't have to do. And uh, I it was you know made me feel okay about about jumping into it. And, I, and, and then I, I met him afterwards, and yeah, he's um, he's the best, right? <laughs> he's the best. Yeah, Team Toby. I'm Team Toby person. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Hi, my question is for Andrew and Emma. I was wondering, do you feel like your roles in the film have changed you personally and professionally? Well, I, I think any any role you're a part of kind of changes you personally a little bit. I mean, I should just speak for myself. It changes me personally a bit. You know, you're accessing different parts of yourself. What are you guys laughing at? <laughs> the boys to the left of you are playing over there, I think. You ignore us. Please ignore us. Please. <laughs> Um, it, but yeah, so so definitely, I, I, Gwen affected me, you know, in in, in many ways. Um, professionally, it's the last thing I did, so only time will tell. Um, I, I, I was, I was overwhelmed by, by what I learned from actually stepping into it. Um, because in, in, in fantasy, you're like, oh, I get to be Spider-Man, that's all, all I've ever wanted to be. And this is just going to be, this is going to solve every problem in my life. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to be happy for the rest of my life now. That's great. And it's going to be really easy because, because you know, I, I know what it is and I, I'm pretty limber and, uh, you know, I stretch every day, so that's not going to be a problem. Um, I love working hard, so I was like, this is going to be great. In, in, in actuality, it wasn't that. It was. It was. It was really hard. It was really, really hard work. And um, you know, th th there was to, to assume the responsibility of this um, is was 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 a weight that I didn't quite understand until I stepped into the suit, the actual suit. Um, and uh, yeah, it was. To, and to be here with you guys now, showing footage is scary. It's it's it, because I'm one of you in a way. I have. I want to be out there watching and judging it, and uh, you know, it, it means a, it means a lot. And I, um, it was fun. It was incredibly fun, but it was also I, I felt the responsibility of it. Your time just for a couple more questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our first question is for Emma Stone. Now that you've worked with both of the stars of the Social Network. Why haven't you uh, accepted our friend request on Facebook? <laughs> accepted. I'm just kidding, I don't have a Facebook. Don't believe what you hear. There is no Facebook for me. But if I did, I would accept you in a heartbeat. What's your question? Hi, for Mr. Andrew Garfield, I wanted to ask, how would you compare working with filmmaking studios in London versus working with studios in Hollywood? Um, wow, hey, question. Um, what a question. <laughs> um, I, man, can I think about this for five minutes? Uh, you know, oh man, really? <laughs> You're in America. No, Just keep that in mind. <laughs> you are here in America. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. An answer just came to me. Um, Amer America, right? We're in America, right? And Amer Gen I, I think generally speaking, America is the, the best, right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, America's the best. No, no I don't know. I, I love, I love making, I, I mean, I've only ever done um, British television things, so I've never actually... Oh, that's not true. There was a Canadian. It was no Canadian production I did with the, the Terry Gilliam film. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, they're both. I, I've had really good times on every film I've done, and you know, the, the accents are different. Um, uh, and sometimes, uh, sometimes the food is better. Usually here. Um, yeah, American food. And, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, really quick, could I have your name tag? No. Yeah, yeah, you 
want, you want, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, oh, she's getting told off. Oh, no, it's fine, yeah, she can have the name tag, it's okay. <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> yes, of course. Dude, don't give it away, put it on oh, eBay. name tag. I you, promise, I have a really good one. You want this name tag? That's the one. Ask the question, and okay. if it's good, you'll get the name tag. Yes. <laughs> Um, what was the journey for you guys like when, from when you heard about the movie to actually filming it? Like, was there any, like, what kind of pressure? <laughs> oh, don't boo. No, 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 no. No booing. No booing. No booing. Don't boo. Come on. Her life is over. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> How much time passed from when you knew you had the role until you started working? About, um, it's okay, we're gonna be fine. It was, um, for me, it was about four months. I spent that time freaking out um, and, uh, and and seeing friends and kind of like saying goodbye to loved ones and uh, writing <laughs> writing my will. And uh, um, no, I, I, had, I had a really incredible four months of training. I did a lot of training with a with a, a fantastic guy called Armando Alacorn, who if you ever see him, punch him in the face for me, because um, he made my life a living hell. Um, so, so there was that, and I did a lot of incre incredible like wire work and, and trampolining, and um, a lot of sitting and thinking about about what my life was about to become. For me, it was, and it was, a, it was pretty terrifying four months. And then we started filming, and it was just like being on any other film set, and it was just the greatest experience ever. Oh, his answer's so much better. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna let everybody down. Mine was, well, I would just like to say that the, that the journey between finding out that I was going to play Gwen Stacy, I, I beat you at this one, finding out I was gonna play Gwen Stacy to when it was announced was a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> oh. He had 30 minutes, I had a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> um, so that was pretty wild. Um, and then the months that followed, I was finishing up a movie called The Help, and I, I was in Mississippi. <laughs> cool. Uh, I was in Mississippi, and so I kind of had to finish that and, and focus on that, and then um, I had about three weeks, and I was just kind of reading about the Stacys and learning about Spider-Man and learning about the Marvel Universe, and then we were there on set very, very big sound stages, um, and we shot the movie, and that was about it. See, I told you it was less exciting. And then I, and I trained just so hard to look like Spider-Man. No, no one's and, buying that, no uh, one's buying that. Well, we can't wait to see the final product. Thank you so much for coming and spending some time with us.